everyone, assalamu alaikum. As many of you know, my name is Leila Ali Osman, and today we're going to talk about youth mentorship and youth development in a in a not in a in a business kind of way, but in a motivational kind of way. Um, young people from the ages of 16 to 20, 25. These are people that are still in school people who are still trying to find themselves. Um, some have already graduated and they're looking for uh, uh, somebody to look up to. So today I'm here to talk to you guys about your inner behaviors and how to build yourself into an amazing character and somebody who would do well in the future. Um, to be honest, the young people of this generation are very, very lucky because um, we now have social media and we have people coming out to talk to you, to you guys about their failures, wh where they've gone wrong. So it actually limits um, the kind of mistakes you, you do if you people are thinking correctly and you're listening. Um, many of us, <laughs> I, was, I wasn't opportune to, to, to be in a position where I would get somebody that will tell me, please don't do this. If you do this, this will happen. Or I hear somebody from afar talk about it and I, I try to minimize the mistakes I made. It is vital for you to make mistakes because you learn through your mistakes. But there are mistakes that you don't need to make. There are mistakes that you can run away from. So I have a list of, um, what do you call it? Some few things to look up to as you're paving your way to greatness and growth and understanding yourself. There are some few things that you could actually look into. Be resilient. Have an amazing family bond. That is very important. Be self-determined. Be spiritual. Be self-efficient. Believe in the future. Try as much as you can to build a clear and positive identity for yourself and failure is a teacher just know that I'll start by the first one resiliency giving up is not even in the books as you grow you will learn that whatever you're about to do or whatever you're about to achieve in life you have to work towards it nothing nothing is free even if you grow up as Angote's daughter or Tadala's daughter, you can see their children. They're all kids coming from wealth, but they try as much as possible to attain something for themselves. So you need to work as well. They could just wake up in the morning and say, Daddy, I need 500 million. I want to start this. And that can happen. But they want to work towards building something for themselves so that the parents will see that oh this guy is really trying then they give them so be without a doubt put in your all in every aspect of life i tell people you can't put half and expect a full result so as somebody who is growing know that persistence resilience working hard is part of your day-to-day -day life and growing old will demand more from you than what you're even going through right now. So you have to be resilient. Amazing family bond. The very few, or let me say a lot of people who are very lucky to have amazing friends, um, amazing friends and family. Family, you can't change them. No matter how bad your family is, they're still your family. And sometimes the reason why we find faults in our families because they're people that you didn't choose God chose them there's a reason why they've been chosen to be your family and as you grow older and you make mistakes and you leave the way and you come back sometimes the only people that will be there for you would be your family so if you don't have a bond with them you can't you, you would be left with nobody and I don't think a human being functions alone no matter how much you try to say, oh, I'm self-reliant, self wide at the end of the day, you ask somebody, what do you think about this? Well, you better 
ask somebody that, that truly genuinely knows you from well your baby they don't need some of them don't need anything from you even if they do they will tell they will tell it to you the way it is because there are people you haven't chosen they didn't choose you but you are in the same um, environment and you never you can never remove yourself from them so find a way to create an amazing bond with family it makes you a peaceful person and it makes you a family oriented person and as you grow older you would want to emulate and do the same to your own family so i believe that's like a foundation to your happiness self be self determined it's almost the same with being resilient determination i will achieve it and believe that you will without a doubt if you are determined you will achieve there is no doubt in it it might take a long time but guys i'm telling you you will achieve it if you're determined cuz there is no story on earth in the books both books that we 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 go back to the quran and the bible that hasn't spoken about determination you can't there's nothing if you sit at home you won't get anything can't you can finish school now and sit at home and say i have done the work now i'm i'm a graduate you can sit down there and, and wait you have to be determined to achieve greatness and it will come many people will tell you this and you think it's just oh everybody is just saying it but this is the truth this is the truth self efficient be able to function by yourself be self efficient you don't need a clique of friends to function you need to know that that you can just be in your house with your coca cola and tv sit down and enjoy who you are as a person it starts from this very tender age if from your small tender age you want to have a pack of friends you want to always go to parties you want to do this you will lose focus on who you are this is the time to understand who you are then as you go into the world you meet a lot of different people no one can change you this is actually the best thing that can happen to a, a young teenager or somebody who is growing and a, a young adult when you know who you are you understand your capacity you understand your limits nobody can change you nobody can pimp You can't be in a in a place where everybody is drinking and you're not drinking. And then because of because you want to show that you to your part of the whole thing, let me drink. No, you drink because you want to drink. Not because people are drinking. Let me just follow. That is when you lose your way. You become a follower. But you as an individual, every individual is a leader by himself on his, just on him. It's just you. you lead yourself to greatness you can't be great if you're not self efficient you always lean on other people for advice for money you do this that is when you lose self respect you want to beg because you feel you are not good enough to achieve it by yourself we talk about believing in the future the future is bright for everybody Yes, some people get it easy. Some people get it a little bit medium. Some people get it hard and some people even die without getting it. But don't die without getting it. Please get it. Walk towards it. No matter how little. Sometimes we look at what is ahead and forget what we are, the present. What we actually what we actually have. Not everybody will have a lot of money. not everybody will have big houses but in the little things you do try and build yourself to be content with where you are contentment is happiness if you can't be content then the future isn't bright for you you keep you be hungry every day you need more you have this i need more you have this i need more everybody needs more but when you have this enjoy it. and then build to build towards getting more young people 
the future is what you make of it today. You will build a bright future for yourself. Nobody else will. When God brought you, he gave you two options, right and wrong. Don't blame God. People keep sitting and say, uh, God, this is my destiny. It's not your destiny. You have the ability to choose between right and wrong. And from the ages of 17 to 25, this at the time that you will choose who you want to become. There's weed and there's books. You choose to smoke weed, you're doomed. You choose to read books, understand life, accept what, what, whatever comes to you. If you're sad, walk towards it and you pass it. But don't, because I'm sad, let me take weed and sleep. Because weed opens my brain, let me take weed and read. No, read as your brain is closed until it opens. Every single thing about a human being is hardship. They're tests. It's just like in a game. You pass this stage. You, have to, you can't come from this stage and jump to the other stage. You have to accumulate those coins. Keep going from one step to another. In order to reach. You cannot take weed to be intelligent. Weed doesn't make you intelligent. You're already intelligent. But because as you're sober... You lack the ability to look within you and open up your brain. You think by leaning into taking codeine and the rest will make you see things brighter. But in the real sense, it really doesn't. It makes you become lousy. It makes you become useless. It makes people see you as a lunatic. Because nobody will give you an opportunity if you go to them not sober. You're wobbling, going from one place to another. Hey, oh guys, and uh, then imagine a proper dressed person standing there, telling them the key to this world is this. This, this is English. This one, God chose him. No, it's a choice, and you chose this path, while this person chose this path. So look into it. I say this all the time. Within us. There's, there lives a spirit, the spirit that leads you to the truth. And it constantly reminds you of what is right. It's inside every single human being. I know it lives in me. Because sometimes, me, it always comes when, it, when I'm in the toilet. It tells me, you know what, Madam, that's wrong, that's wrong. Then another one will be like, Ariani is right. Is inside you. You can feel that there are two things but.